up guys in here and welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing a video on some need for speed i know i'm late to the trend on need for speed and stuff like that i know this game came out about like nearly two years ago we're gonna start off by doing a drift build and i have a car but this is not my car this is my drift car actually i use it all the time we're not building this car we're building something else we're building a ae86 or a torino if you guys know this it's from the initial d everybody knows this so we're gonna do a build on this we're gonna do an epic drift build on this so uh yeah all right we're gonna check out the body kits some of these body kits are good i just don't want the uh the front end i want to keep this original front end yeah i'm getting this front bumper because the other ones look so garbage and i can't buy a splitter this one matches up perfect i want to go for a uh a sensible build we're getting this one because it matches so good with the bumper uh we're getting this one of course why wouldn't I, why wouldn't we it looks exactly like the front end kind of digging the origin one going with the origin one i'm digging that a lot a lot i mean a lot. oh okay rear bumper Oh, that looks very, very cool, but I just do not want that. The origin kit looks very, very good. The exhaust, I don't want to go with anything crazy because we don't, we can't even use that much. Let's change the license plate real quickly. There we go, Danimax. Next thing, trunk lid. I don't want to go for a full-on spoiler, I just want to go for a trunk lid, so we're going to go for the origin one, of course, again. Yeah, I know, origin's like the best thing ever. I guess that's mostly about it. I just need to change the rims, that's it. Probably gonna take me a while because I don't want no crappy rims. I found the one I want, the Rotoform Concave INDT. Get some stretched on here, I like stretch. All right, I'm not painting the rims at all because there's no point. Looks amazing. And now we're gonna change the stance to this because this stance does not look really, really good on it. Put it low, no rake because forget that. Track width all the way out, track width all the way out. Uh, do we need any cam- I'm gonna put a little bit camber to the front because it's your car. A little camera to the rear because it's drift car. So this is our build right now. I'm going to just quickly do a fresh paint to it. Go ahead, add some zip ties to the front, and that's pretty much it. I got my color green on it. This looks really, really good. It looks pretty drift car. All right, let's do some performance mods to this. Put a freaking air filter to this. Short rim air filter. I don't have that much money, so I'm not going to spend that much. Let me see. Intercooler. Actually, let me just get forced induction really quickly because I know forced induction is going to be really, really good. All right, we're going to put a $4,000 thingy in there and we're going to put the high performance fuel injectors and 49 horsepower basically 350 horsepower i touched every single thing but it's not fully upgraded still but this is what i'm going to go for this is going to be 350 horsepower build and let's just do the handling because we're, we had to do some handling just for, to have this thing we have our ae86 here it's going to be a really really good drift car and this video has been a little like monotone and it's like it's not as good as you think we have a toyota sprinter gt apex 1986 not a long name whatsoever we're gonna leave the garage I'll see you guys in the mountains. All right, guys, we made it to the Toge Mountain. We're gonna do some amazing drifts, like initial D. First, by drifting like this, while tapping that, slap wall proof. Already doing some major drifts in fourth gear, yeah. All right, so I went the wrong way. Typical Danny stuff. So we made it to the actual Toge Mountain. We're finally in the bendy hairpin stuff things, because you know why? Watch me drift. Dang, this thing has no power whatsoever. I guess 350 horsepower was good. I'm so used to my Subaru though. Plus my controller is broken, so I go to the other way all the time. So that's gonna piss me the f off. Alright, come on, just drift for me one more time. Yes, there we go. I want to drift in fourth gear because fourth gear is longer. And has it just doesn't want to let go. It just doesn't want to freaking slide. All right, here comes a big ass hairpin. You gotta freaking derf this like a freaking maniac. Oh, that little wall tap in there, little wall tap. That was actually a really nice drift. I'm just really surprised to myself. Here comes another bend. Fifth gear drift, fourth gear drift, actually. Wall tap. Here comes another bend. That was actually really, really decent. Really decent. Uh, it's not the best. Oh, oh. Wall taps for days. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm doing this so really good. So really good. That's freaking English, Dan. Oh man, my computer. My computer. Oh man. I've been recording this for a long time, but my computer went off. Alright, so this is gonna be the end of the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you give it a like. I know this is not like a hyped up video like all the time, but this is just drift drift build and stuff like that. But thank you guys for watching the video. See you guys in the next video. 
and I don't know why I said video so many times in that sentence. But we're doing the drift corner. Hold on. Let me see if I can get a lot of points from this. No score. Oh my god. I'm, I'm triggered. I'm triggered. And see you guys in the next video. Peace out.